and our observation that taurine abundance was low in aged humans led us to investigate what taurine does during the aging process. What we showed is that taurine abundance declines with age in mice, in monkeys, and in humans. This raised a very uh, important question, whether this abundance of taurine that declines with age, is it a driver of aging and actively participates in the aging process, or is it a passenger of aging that is just going along for a ride, is a collateral damage of the aging process? To investigate this, we then fed middle-aged mice, which are equivalent to 50-year-old human, 45 to 50-year-old humans, with once daily taurine supplementation for life. These animals that received taurine for life lived longer. On average, females lived 12% longer and males lived around 10% longer. Now, the next important question was, are these animals that are living longer, are they living healthier? Because you don't want to be living longer and being unhealthy for the entire period. That is a major goal of any anti-aging intervention is to test whether animals that are now living longer, are they healthier or not? That is what we did next. Before we did, mouse is just one model organism. So we tested the effect of uh, taurine supplementation in another animal model, in this case, uh, C. elegans or worms. These worms also, which are multicellular, non-vertebrate species, they also live longer. On average, they lived up to 23% longer compared to control animals that received vehicle alone. But each which is a single cellular species, did not have any effect of taurine supplementation. We identified that taurine uh, mechanism of taurine and its uh, synthesis was not evolved enough in a unicellular eukaryote. And as we evolved to multicellular species, to um, vertebrates and to mammals, this taurine Synthesis became specified and its metabolism got regulated and perhaps got selected to impart specific health benefits. Now, the next question was, are taurine fed animals living healthy? And to test that, we next looked at a variety of organ system functions. We again fed middle-aged mice with taurine and looked at their health with variety of different assays for organ functions and terminal analysis of different uh, parameters which cannot be assessed in live animals. This analysis showed that taurine supplementation had a small reduction in the body weight and their fat pad weight or the fat mass in them was significantly reduced. This reduction in the adiposity or obesity in these animals was caused by a major increase in the energy expenditure. We identified that taurine supplemented animals were, in fact, they were eating the same amount of food, but they uh, were spending much more energy compared to their wild type or control animals which were receiving water. And this uh, identified that taurine supplementation leads to increased um, energy expenditure. And that is one of the reasons why animals which were growing older, becoming obese in control situation, when we were, they were supplemented with taurine, they had a reduced adiposity. When we tested, looked at the bone structure now, the bone density in vertebra on the left-hand side was increased. The black lines here are bones. And you can see there are more black lines in the taurine supplemented animals. In a long bone, in the micro CT images, you can see that the white lines, which are representing bone in the center, are increased in numbers. That showed that the bone structure was improved. Not only bone structure was improved, when we looked at the bone strength by 
putting these uh, animals through, I mean, these bones through a biomechanical testing. So these bones were less fragile. They were, they had more strength in them as well. So functionally, the bone uh, function was improved because they had more strength. Next, we looked at, okay, how is the muscle parameter? So we looked at the grip strength of animals and we found that muscle strength was improved in taurine supplemented animals. You can see the 500 here is 500 milligram per kg body weight per day of taurine and T1000 is 1000 milligram per kg body weight per day. Compared to control animals with T0, you can see that the muscle strength was improved. Not only muscle strength was improved, their neuromuscular coordination in a rotor rod test was improved significantly. This showed that Tori not only improves muscle strength, it also improves neuromuscular coordination, the ability of the muscular system to perform when put through uh, different tests. When we looked at anxiety through a dark light uh, assay, they had these animals which were taurine supplemented were less anxious and they had improved memory. So in other words, taurine suppressed anxiety in animals and it increased the memory of these animals. Next, the, with age, we have a glucose intolerance or we become type 2 diabetic. And when we looked at the effect of taurine supplementation on glucose tolerance, you can see that these animals were able to clear glucose more efficiently compared to control animals. So their glucose tolerance improved. This glucose improvement in glucose tolerance was due to increased insulin sensitivity in their tissues. They were more insulin sensitive as well. So these animals had an improved glucose and insulin tolerance. Now, with age, our ability to mount an immune response is ameliorated. It becomes compromised. And when we looked at the immunophenotype of these animals, these animals had a better immune system function compared to control animals. So in other words, these animals were able to mount a better immune response, especially with a higher dose of taurine. Now, together, these studies tell us that Taurine supplemented animals had an overall increase in the health span. They had a better muscle strength and neuromuscular coordination. They had better bone density. They had more pancreas functions. They had better gut get a gutter, uh, better gut motility. They had better brain function, less anxiety, more memory, better immune system function, less adiposity in their body, and they spend much more energy compared to control animals. At the same time, taurine supplementation did not affect the energy intake in the body. Their food intake was, on average, was normal compared to control animals. This tells us that the health span of these taurine supplemented animals was improved. So what I showed you so far is that taurine supplementation from middle age leads to increased lifespan in animals and their health span was also improved, suggesting that taurine deficiency that happens with age is a driver of aging because supplementing or reversing this deficiency leads to increased lifespan and health span. Now, the next question was, how does taurine suppress the aging phenotypes? And to do so, we'll, we now turned our attention to the way taurine acts in the cells. So taurine in the extracellular space or coming from the blood is taken up by a specific protein known as SLC6A6, which is a transporter that takes taurine inside the cells. To understand how taurine deficiency was regulating the variety of processes, we then knocked out in mouse taurine transporter. So in these taurine transporter deficient animals, cells are able to not able to take taurine in the cells. And this deficiency of taurine in the cells, the red line here is taurine deficient animals, which are induced taurine deficiency. These animals lived on average 50% less compared to control animals. So normal, on average, wild type animals live, 50% of them are 
uh, dead by 30 months of age. But in the case of taurine supplementary animals, around by 18 months, 50% of them are dead. Now, so taurine deficiency curtails healthy lifespan. It makes animals live shorter life.